Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically the top five tight ends based on analytics. And that is right, this is the final top five tight end ranking for the 2018 NFL Draft Class. A lot of you guys might be confused and go, well, you already did a video like this. Yeah, I did it back in May last year. And the purpose of those videos back in May, which I even said in the video, was to preview players coming into the 2018 NFL draft class. So again, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, what? You're doing another? But again, this is the final ranking. This is, we have all the information from the combine and the pro days. We have all that data. And now we're just making the list based on all that data available. So this will serve as the final ranking of the top five tight ends in this draft class based on analytics. And with all that stuff out of the way, if you're new to the channel and you're new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So if you don't know what production data is or you don't know what athleticism traits are in terms of explosive or body strength score, speed score, or flexibility score, all that information will be in the description in terms of terms and definitions. So starting with number five on this list, we have Hayden Hurst, tight end out of South Carolina. Uh, when you look at his production data, he had a 77.24 passing yards mark share production score. When you look at the all pro potential, uh, pro bowl potential and starter potential, he pretty much hits above the bottom end thresholds for those areas. Uh, but when you look at his at the average scores, you know, the average all-pro score, average Pro Bowl score, and average starter score, Hayden Hurst more so ranges than sort of the starter area versus the Pro Bowl area. The biggest reason why he's number five in this list is also because of his age. You know, he's a guy that uh, did not hit the minimum requirement age uh, in terms, you know, he's, he's almost 25 years old at this point, which is, there's never been a multiple all-pro, Pro Bowl uh, tight end who came into the draft at 24 and a half years old or more. Um, so again, that's something that really holds him back. But based on his production data, it's fantastic. When you look at his athleticism traits, not the best, but definitely decent. Um, had a 42.27 explosive or body swing score, 73.4 one speed score, and a 59.55 flexibility score. His speed score misses the mark of all pro slash pro bowl potential, but despite that, pretty good overall traits. You know, above average speed, above average flexibility, above average production. So I think Hayden Hurst has a very good shot of becoming a long-term starting tight end in this class. I just would not consider him to be a guy with all pro slash pro bowl potential, which drops him a bit based on data, based on the analytics specifically. Of course, we get to the number four tight end on this list, which is Tyler Conklin out of Central Michigan. When you look at his production data, he had a 63.68 uh, mar uh, passing yardage market share production score. When you look at the averages at the position, he's a guy that, again, is a little below average what the starting average is, but definitely hit above the Pro Bowl average and the uh, starter average in terms of bottom and thresholds. But the reason why he's number four in this list is because of his athleticism traits. He had a 96.09 explosive or body strength score, 56.95 speed score, and 80.34 flexibility score. Not exactly an all-pro slash Pro Bowl potential tight end based on his athleticism testing, but does have elite explosion and very, very good flexibility testing for his size. So he's a guy that, athletically speaking, is one of the more athletic tight ends in this draft class with a fairly decent production score, which is why he's number four on this list. Then we get to number three on this list. We have Mark Andrews, tight end out of Oklahoma. When you get to his production data, he had a 72.26 Passing yardage market share production score, which hits at least the all-pro threshold uh, or bottom all-pro threshold in terms of passing yardage. When you look at the averages at, at, at the position, he's closer to the starting average versus the Pro Bowl and all-pro average. Uh, so again, more so a starter than a Pro Bowl or all-pro player. And that also shows up in his testing, uh, where he had a 33.57 explosive or body strength score, 82.50 speed score, and a 52.43 um, flexibility score. Uh, based on the data here, didn't quite hit the minimum threshold for, for explosion. Didn't quite hit the minimum threshold for flexibility. But he's very, very close. You know, he's only about three uh, three points, or not even three points, like two points away from the explosion score and about five points away from the flexibility score. So in many ways, I'm not giving him a pass but because his collection of data does make him the third best tight end in this class. But he is a guy that is kind of a fringe all pro slash pro bowl player who more likely is going to be a long-term starter. So again, if you look at Mark Andrews as a potential long-term starting tight end versus a potential all-pro slash pro bowl potential guy, then I think you won't lose money with him. Then we get to number two in this list. We have Ian Thomas, tight end out of Indiana. When you get to his production data, he had a 47.70 
market share production score, which doesn't hit the all pro threshold, but does hit at least above the Pro Bowl threshold. Uh, then, of course, you look at the averages at the position where he doesn't really test that well. But the reason why he is number two on this list is purely because of his athleticism traits. 96.27 explicit lower body strength score, 79.59 speed score, and an 89.70 flexibility score. So in many ways, he hits all the minimum thresholds for all pro slash pro bowl potential in terms of his athleticism traits at the tight end position. Um, so that is why he's on this list. Um, he hit at least the pro bowl threshold in terms of all pro slash pro bowl potential, and he has athletic upside to become that as well. Is he likely to hit that threshold? Probably not, because again, the production was so low that there's really only a handful of guys that kind of hit these marks and become, you know, go on to become all pros as Pro Bowl guys. But I do think that Ian Thomas, in many ways, has the minimum athleticism traits, the minimum production traits to have Pro Bowl plus all pro potential. And that is why he's number two in this list. It's mainly athleticism driven here, but that is why he's number two. Then we get to the number one tight end in this draft class based on analytics, which should be no surprise at least to people that have been following this channel, it's Mike Jasicki, tight end out of Penn State. Uh, when you look at his production data, he had a 76.62 uh, score, which pretty much hits the all-pro average, um, or not average, but just the all-pro threshold in terms of uh, market share production data. Then you look at the averages at the position where he's kind of in between a pro, the Pro Bowl average and the starter average when it comes to his production data as well. So he's kind of you know in between a Pro Bowler and a starter based on his uh, production data. And then you get to his athleticism traits, which is the main reason why he's number one here, uh, with a 98.40 explosive lower body strength score, a 91.60 speed score, and a 97.57 flexibility score. Fantastic overall athlete, pretty good size, pretty good hands, you know, hand size, arm length, all that kind of stuff. Bottom line is, he's the guy who has the best shot of becoming an all pro slash pro bowl potential tight end. Is he going to become all pro slash pro bowl potential tight end? Probably not. Uh, you know, again, he's not a guarantee to be that type of guy uh, based on data, but he does have a better shot than every other tight end in this draft class, which is why he's number one on this list. Now, the overall general feelings about this tight end class is that it's weak. And based on data, that's true. The tight ends that I mentioned today are guys that most of them only have starter potential and only two of them have Pro Bowl and All Pro potential. There's only two tight ends in this draft class that have hit the minimum requirements minimum traits to be an all pro slash pro bowl tight end and that's Mike Jazicki and Ian Thomas everybody else falls short you know now that doesn't mean that they're not going to become long-term starting tight ends that doesn't mean that there's not going to be a blocking tight end in this draft class that's fantastic as a blocker and goes on to have a long career and all that other kind of stuff but when it comes to being a special tight end when it comes to being a Jimmy Graham when it comes to being a Rob Gronkowski when it comes to being a Tony Gonzalez, all those types of things. This class lacks that um, by a significant degree. So I think when it comes to this tight end class, there is a lot of good players in this class. I think there's some solid overall depth guys, but this is a class that I might avoid a bit, especially if you miss out on getting Jasicki and you miss out on getting Ian Thomas, or you miss out on getting most of the tight ends on this ranking. You know, if you miss out on Mark Andrews or you miss out on uh, Tyler Conklin and you miss out on uh, Hayden Hurst, if you miss on those guys, I would kind of avoid tight end. So that's the only thing I can really say based on data is just a lot of disappointment when you get past the top five guys. And even the top five guys, which I just showed you, there is a bit of uneasiness with those types of players. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gymmetrics. If you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded another video of mine drops. And be sure to buy the 2018 NFL Draft Analytics Guide, which is available on Amazon.com right now. Link is in the description. In this guide, you have 350 plus prospect profiles in terms of quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, tight ends, offensive linemen, defensive linemen, uh, cornerbacks, safeties, linebackers, etc. So if there's any tight ends that I didn't talk about in this video, that is going to be in that guide. So be sure to buy that guide. Uh, all the proceeds from it support this channel, support me. 
Uh, so again, if you are a big fan of this channel, you're a big fan of the work that I do, be sure to go out and buy that guy today and learn a little bit about the draft that you may not get from anybody else. So with all that out of the way, thank you so much for checking out this video. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.